John Jacob, and I'm working with the anthelmintics, that is the anti-parasitic medicine, to see which all of the anti-parasitic medicines which are out there in the market are effective against rat lungworm. And to do so, we developed a death assay, that's what we call, using a stain which is only staining the dead cells. And the stain is called propidiomidite. Once they're stained, they start, they start to emit light. And that way we can differentiate the worms which are emitting light are dead and the ones which are not are still alive. So, and also we found out that the, the worms, the, the outer skin of the worms, they're made of a protein called collagen and they themselves emit light at, in, in a green spectrum. So right now we can see the dead, the d dead larva emitting in red or yellow light and the live ones emitting in green light. That way we can differentiate. And so we can test different drugs, including other chemical compounds like bleach or uh, iodine or a, a potassium permanganate, if they have an effect on the larva and if that kills the larva. So before all the studies, we, they, what they did using uh, ch different chemicals, where they, they were looking into the motility, that is after treatment, are the larva moving or not. But that does not tell you whether the larva is, uh, is dead. So we're, using this death assay, we can confirm from a cellular level that the larva are dead. We do the testing, we isolate the larva by drowning slugs and we, co we collect them and put them into these plates. This is a 384 well plate. This plate has 384 small wells. And we, what we do is we put 100 larvae into each of the wells, depending on how many drugs we are testing. And on these individual wells, we add our drugs. And then after that, we add the stain. And after staining, we look under a microscope, which is capable of imaging high content images. And from there, we can know if the larva is emitting a yellow or red light, that means they're dead. And if they're still emitting green light, that means they're still alive.